Hello, this is Jeremy from Doolin Digital, and I thank you for joining me for the first of what I hope to be a series of tutorials on using the excellent Tiled Map Editor. For my first, first tutorial, I thought we'd look at how to use random mode when drawing maps, especially when you're using the Flood Fill tool to flood a region of the map with a particular tile. So let's get started with uh, the problem that we'd like to solve. So I have open just a, an empty map <clears throat> and a set of terrain tiles, an out, outdoor terrain tiles from uh, Final Boss Blue's Time Fantasy tiles that you can get on itch.io. And I'm going to choose this simple grass tile. Okay, so I have this whole area. Normally, you know, you could just click, point, click, drag to fill in the area. Uh, but we're going to use the flood tool so that we can flood the whole map. Okay, very simple, but kind of an obvious problem. It's an obvious repeating pattern, and you might have been able to get away with this in the 80s or 90s, uh, but we've got a lot more variety in this tile set, and so we can add a much better visual uh, and textured look, a little bit more realistic, by adding some randomness. So the first step that we're going to do, uh, before I show you how to set this up, I'm going to show you what the effect is. <clears throat> Instead of selecting just the one tile, and I'm going to undo what I did before, I'm going to select these four tiles. Okay, Now, if I flood with these four tiles selected, it simply repeats that pattern of all four tiles. And so this uh, probably looks even worse than it did before. But if you click on the little dice icon, this enables random mode. And instead of filling with the pattern of these four, it's going to randomly choose one of these four when I fill. As soon as you hover over the map area, you get a preview of what it'll look like if you go ahead and accept. And to accept it, you just click in the area. But the nice thing is, is if you move around, you actually get a different preview so that you can, uh, you can kind of pick and choose as you move around. If you find one that you really like, you click to accept. Already, this looks much better. Okay, we have some randomness. It doesn't look like just this big field of repeating patterns. Uh, so we've already made a pretty big step. But in addition to the grass tiles, we have all these other options too. We have these different yellow flowers and grass patches, cattails, some rocks, mushrooms, and some very colorful flowers here. It would be nice to, uh, to, to fill this area with mainly grass but to be able to throw in a few flowers or rocks here and there, or grass patches, just to, to add some more variety. Uh, so we can definitely do this, but the problem is, by default, if you don't set the tile setup correct, each tile is going to have the same probability as all the rest. Uh, so that means if you select these four tiles and then throw in uh, some flowers, each one is going to show up statistically an even number of times, which is probably not quite what you want. Ideally, we want the majority to be grass and just to have the flowers and the extras just sort of sprinkled in. Okay, in order to do this, you have to edit the tile set. When you, uh, when you create a tile set in, uh, in Tile, you have the option of either embedding the tile set into your map or creating its own file, its own .tsx file. And I use the TSX files because once I've created this tile set, I want to be able to use the same tile set and setup in all of my maps for the game. So in order to edit the tile set, we come down here to the little wrench icon, click this, and we come to our tile set editor. Okay, so mine's already set up. I'm going to show you what I did uh, to achieve this effect. Choose the uh, <clears throat> tile collision uh, the little shape selector up here, and just choose the first tile. Okay, to the left, you'll see the properties for this tile. Each tile has a probability prop property, and this comes with tile. You don't have to set this up. And by default, it's one for everything, which is why by default, every tile has the same probability of appearing. What I've done is for these first three tiles, these are the ones that I want to be the most common. I've set their probability to be 25%, which means altogether, these three tiles 
should comprise 75% of all the tiles when I do a flood fill. The fourth one over I've set to 5%. So together all four will be about 80%. <clears throat> the rest of these, the decorative tiles, I've set to a very small 0.05%. And you might think that that sounds like really small, but believe it or not, when you have a map that's large enough, 0.5% shows up pretty regularly. All of these I've set up with exactly the same 0.05%. Now, the probability is 0.005, but in terms of percentages, that means 0.5%, one half of 1%. And the way I did this is by selecting all of these, and you can edit the probability for all of those tiles all at once by highlighting them all and choosing the probability for them, okay? All right, so now that we have our probability set up, that gives us a pretty good idea of how often these are going to show up when we do a flood fill. You'll probably have to tweak the probabilities to your tastes, but let's go ahead and uh, undo what we did before. And now we'll choose these first four and then sort of pick and choose from among these. Uh, we'll control click through these and pick uh, the white flowers, and maybe this pink one and a couple grass patches, some rocks, definitely gotta get the mushrooms in there, uh, some purple flowers. All right, so I've just kind of gotten a little bit of a scattering. Now when I flood fill, we'll see exactly the effect that I was looking for. It's almost all grass. Those four, uh, first three tiles in particular are the most common. And here and there I have the darkest one, the fourth one over. And then I have the flowers and the decorative elements uh, scattered about. You could reduce the, the frequency of the appearance of those by decreasing the probability farther than it already is. Um, and if you like what you have, but you would uh, like to add a little bit of, uh, you know, maybe some flower or grass patches, you wanna manually do some work, just Turn off random mode and then use the stamp brush and just choose whichever uh, tile you want. Like, let's go with uh, the grass patch. And, uh, you know, up here, I can intentionally uh, create a, a larger grass patch and then maybe some more flowers down here. Just to give it so that it doesn't look completely random. Okay? You can actually give it a sense of some sort of natural structure. Okay, well that's it. Um, that's really all there is to using this uh, terrain editor. You can fully integrate this with uh, the actual terrain editor, in the, in the, which we're gonna talk about in another series, uh, excuse me, another video, on how we can make sure that even when we use uh, this sort of random mode, that it still treats it all as the same type of tile. Okay, and so what this will allow us to do to select one of our other terrain types and then fill in. Pretty cool, isn't it? So we're gonna get that to that uh, next time. We'll start talking about how to use terrains and the terrain editor. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to comment and uh, follow me if you would like some more videos. Thanks and good luck with tiled and game development.